Well, hey, Release Time students, Pastor Ryan here. I just want to let you know that we really miss you. But in light of the pandemic and COVID-19 and all the craziness, we thought the best way that we could connect with you was to have some really great story time with Grandma Orange and music with Miss Tammy Jensen. You are in for a treat. We're going to be releasing these uh, one per week. And you can always go back and watch them. And we might even have some activities that we'll be sending home for you to fill out along with these lessons. God bless you. We're praying for you and uh, look forward to spending time with you. This is called the story and the song. The heavens are singing about how great God is and the skies are shouting it out. See what God made day after day. Night after night, they are speaking to us. This comes in the Bible, in the book of Psalms. God wrote, I love you. He wrote it in the sky and on the earth and under the sea. He wrote his message everywhere because God created everything in his world to reflect him like a mirror, to show us what he's like, to help us to know him, to make our hearts sing. The way a kitten chases her tail, the way red poppies grow wild, the way a dolphin swims, and God put it into words. He wrote it in a book called the Bible. And here we've got some of the characters in the Bible. We've got Daniel and David and Moses and Noah. Now some people think that the Bible is a book of rules. telling you what you should and shouldn't do. The Bible certainly does have rules in it. They show you how life works best, but the Bible isn't mainly about you and what you should be doing. It's about God and what he has done. Other people think the Bible is a book of heroes, showing you people you should copy. The Bible does have some heroes in it, but as you'll soon find out, most of the people in the Bible aren't heroes at all. They make some big mistakes, sometimes on purpose. They get afraid and run away, and at times they're downright mean. No, the Bible isn't a book of rules or a book of heroes. The Bible is most of all a story. It's an adventure story about a young hero who comes from a far country to win back his lost treasure. It's a love story about a brave prince who leaves his palace, his throne, everything to rescue the one he loves. It's like the most wonderful of fairy tales that has come true in real life. You see, the best thing about this story is it's true. There are lots of stories in the Bible, but all the stories are telling one big story. The story how God loves his children and comes to rescue them. It takes the whole Bible to tell this story, and at the center of the story, there's a baby. Every story in the Bible whispers his name. He is like the missing piece in a puzzle, the piece that makes all the other pieces fit together. And suddenly, you can see a beautiful picture. And this is no ordinary baby. This is the child upon whom everything would depend. This is the child who would one day our story starts where all good stories start, right at the very beginning. See you next week. Hi, everybody. Before we sing this song, I would like to read out of John. And it's the first chapter of John, and it starts with the first verse. And he's talking about Jesus, because sometimes we call Jesus the Word. That's another one of Jesus' names, is the Word. This is what John says. In the beginning, the Word, Jesus, was already there. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were made through him. Nothing that has been made was made without him. Life was in him, and that life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome the light. That means the darkness has, 
not taken over the light. Jesus' light shines much brighter than any darkness that we might see. This might be a new song to you, but I hope you'll sing it with me. Thank <laughs> you. 